The shear line continues to dominate our forecast and that long range GFS model everybody is talking about. Let's discuss this in today's Westpac weather update. And first, I want to mention this area. And I usually don't start with that long range first because I'd rather talk about the real and pressing information, which is going to be the shear line increasing rainfall Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday for northeastern Luzon and that upcoming cold surge. But this is a tropical weather outlook forecast and in a page. And so let's talk about this. This is the 20th, by the way, of December, obviously. And the GFS has been showing this little spin up. And I have seen so many different social media feeds showing something like this right here off of the east coast of Visayas and northeastern Mindanao. And it's specifically this specific run of GFS has been showing this kind of run towards the north, just like that. Ignoring the fact that there is a pretty decent cold surge that's going to be taking place in the northeast monsoon exist in fact a lot of times when people show you that model they tend to leave out the few functions of this one this is next saturday the 20th i'm recording this on the 12th that is seven to eight days out the ecmwf doesn't have anything the icon doesn't have anything nor if we look at the broader satellite picture is there much of anything else out there we do have some convection around the intertropical convergence zone and if we pop over to here this is what everybody's claiming is this area way down here which is so close to the equator to be quite honest with you it has a higher chance of drifting south and becoming a cyclone then moving towards the north and then on top of that you deal with the monsoon in that northeasterly float so for the time being i continue to be confident in the fact that i don't see any tropical systems developing now an increase in rainfall for northeastern luzon and even Visayas due to the shear line that is still going to be likely here in our extended forecast but i think for the rest of december it's pretty confident that we are going to be lacking any significant tropical systems. Could we have an LPA form up along the ITCZ, the Intertropical Convergence Zone? Yeah, that's possible, but a name storm, unlikely. And if you see somebody sharing one model and saying, oh, storm's coming, always, always, always ask, hey, what model is this? And what? And if the response is, it's windy, and they don't, then the, that simply means they don't know what they're talking about. And I get that a lot too. People say, Wendy's showing this. It's like, that'd be like me and this fantastic software, a little pitch to Weatherscape, Metro Weather, me saying Metro Weather's Weatherscape shows this. But this is actually the ECMWF guidance. Platforms are different than weather models, and each one is showing a different output, but none agree that there's going to be a tropical system, only the global forecasting system, aka the GFS. ECMWF, also just more, more accurate, higher resolution, a better forecasting model. And the big thing right here is you can see our shear line lifting towards north, increasing showers for northeastern areas of Luzon and the Cagayan Valley. This really is going to pick up Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday as we see our next area of low pressure develop out of eastern China. It's going to kick off a pretty decent storm across Japan and then blow in some cool northerly winds across northeastern Luzon. And this is your rainfall accumulation to Tuesday, Wednesday, and uh, even in the Thursday, where you have some spots across northern areas of Cagayan that can see up and over 300 millimeters into Isabella, maybe one to 200 millimeters, and then further towards the south, much, much less. Manila, the NCR, not really seeing much of anything. So this is going to be a basically north of the Pangansinan here, mountains across northern Luzon is going to be the highest chance of rainfall. The same area that has been really seeing that uh, precipitation recently and also um, cooler air. I know in Baguio, down to the single digits here just a few nights ago. So all part of these cold surges, which continue to set up and dominate the overall forecast out here in the Western Pacific. And I say dominate the overall forecast. We go back to this graphic real quick. Um, you can see this low that is going to be kicking off. This next cold surge, by the way, this is for Sunday. You see the high pressure coming in, and this is the cold surge right in the middle. That All these isobars going north to south, it's not like a full-on system. It's gradient-induced winds we're talking about right here. And that storm is actually going to bring some fairly heavy snowfall, fountain churning on there. 
across the ski resorts of northern Japan. It's pretty cool how everything's connected out here, especially with the monsoon. Um, you can look at one spot in Japan, and you can see that it's heavy snow and a westerly wind, and you'll know that in 48 hours, parts of northeastern Luzon are going to be looking at some heavy rainfall, at least for Sunday. Still afternoon rain on the east coast but it is relatively dry over the upcoming weekend so if you got those outdoor plans at least in the philippines you should be a-okay to get out there and enjoy it as always though i'm meteorologist robert spetta big shout out to all our patreon members who support this channel i can't thank you guys enough you are awesome in my book these are all our super typhoon members who are just been supporting this channel for some of these guys for years now and i i truly truly mean it thank you so much for everything you guys do as always though thanks for watching and of course number one thing friends is please stay safe out there be smart help out a neighbor especially with the holiday season coming around and um you have a good day Bye.